Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Thomas Creations and More, where I'm coming to you from San Antonio, Texas this week to show you some hauls that I got from different Michaels that I, my husband took me to throughout the city. And I mean Michaels, plural, because he took me to every single Michaels that we could find. Actually, I think we lacked quite two of them, but you know, the day got away from us. But till next time, I will come back and go to the ones I missed. Anywho, let me show you the great deals I got at Michael's. I needed some cardstock. I ran out of black, so I bought this one. It's a 65 pound uh, paper cardstock in black. Comes with 50 sheets, and they were on sale for $2.50, regular price $4.99. So I picked up some black. And I picked up some white because I no longer had those two colors. And then I saw this little package and um, I had to pick it up because they're fall colors. The red, the yellow, the green, the orange, and the brown. And they came with 50 sheets. One, two, three, four, five. So 10 of each color. And then I picked up, like I said, the black and the white because I needed, I desperately needed these. I didn't have these anymore. And I like the fall colors for these. So I will be making things for fall. And it was a great deal because I got them for half off. Yeah, half off, $2.50. Um, then I got one of these punches. Regular price was $5.99, but um, Joann's had a coupon for 60% off of one regular priced item. So I bought one of these, and this is the regular hole puncher, the one fourth inch, just the regular one. Um, I had a regular hole punch at home, but I bought it because of these handles right here. Um, I don't know if you've seen on my channel, if not, I do have a haul that I did for uh, the Hobby Lobby clearance. Well, I got some crocodiles, and um, I had one crocodile that I had was a, the corner rounder, but um, in the Hobby Lobby clearance, um, they had two of them that were different. One of them has a scallop and the stub, and the other one just has like the little side, um, the angled sides, like the ones that are on the regular tag, small and large. Um, I noticed when I put them away, I um, put them away inside of a filing cabinet and I didn't have a container per se to put them in. So what I did was I stood them up and guess what? They stayed standing up because those crocodile handles have handles like this. These are rubber. So with the metal, I stood them up and kind of leaned them this way on the file cabinet and they don't move, they don't budge. So when I saw this today, I said, I have to rebuy a hole puncher just because of the rubber ends right here because now I can stand them up next to the crocodiles and it won't fall over like the one I have that is all metal. So I bought this one at 60% off and it ended up coming out to 240. So I was excited about that. I had my husband go and buy me another one which is this one's a 1 8th, uh, 1 8th punch and I like the little hole it makes so I wanted to pick it up. So again 240 using the 60% off coupon from Joann's at Michael's that was at one store then I went to another and I picked this up because I was looking can you believe it guys I went to Joann's I went to mm, I want to say what like four Michaels I think four Michaels here in San Antonio I am in need of distress ink from Tim Holtz right but I need the, the vintage photo and the walnut stain. But the Distress Ink, I've never used this one in particular, which is the Distress Oxide. Um, but since they didn't have them, the Distress Ink, I ended up buying this one. So I will be looking up tutorials. Or if you have any tips or if anybody knows what the difference between Distress Ink and the Distress Oxide is, I believe somewhere, somehow, I saw that this one reacts to water, I think. That's what has that. I think you spray water and it kind of does this, if I remember correctly. But I have to look that up. So if anybody can give me a hint or 
tell me about this distress oxide, what the difference is between distress oxide and the distress ink. I would appreciate it if you tell me in the description box below, leave me a comment. Um, but I bought this one and this one ended up being um, cheaper because this was regular price $6.99, um, but the, I bought a, I mean, I bought, no, I used a coupon from Joanne 60% off and I ended up getting it for $2.80. Um, so I bought it to see how it went or how I like it. Um, and I thought it was a great price for $2.80. Then I bought some of these washi tapes. Um, they were, can you believe it? They had a little bag or a basket and they had them three for a dollar. And so I bought them. I like this one, the Happy Easter with the, with the eggs. I used to have some and I ran out. So I bought it. I'll be ready for Easter. And I bought this one. It just says ho, ho, ho for Christmas. And then I saw these. And I believe these are Tim Holtz. Um, I think I've seen them. And they're Tim Holtz. Let's see if I can get a better picture. See? They have like ledgers on them. Numbers. Like vintage stuff. There we go. Now you can see it. And then this one has like writing. And this one was like a ledger paper. And again, three for a dollar. So I bought six of them for $2. And the lady, the cashier, let me use the 60% off coupon again. So I got these six for 87 cents. I thought it was a bargain. Uh, what else? I bought ribbon they were on sale this one is three eighths of an inch and 10 yards and i bought this red gin gin um ginham sorry ginham uh printed ribbon it was on sale for 120 regular price 3.99 but it was 120 and i thought it would go great with um this punch that i got at joanne's on clearance but wrapped around its little neck, it will look really cute for Christmas. I believe I'm gonna do my Christmas tree of deer heads this year. That will be my theme is deer and my Christmas tree. Anyway, I thought this would a great idea. I mean a great deal, sorry, for 120. Couldn't beat it. Then I love polka dot ribbon because it goes with everything for every season, it birthday, anything. So I got this one in red with white polka dots. Again, $1.20. Put it past that. That um, great deal buy. And then I finally was able to find this Wink of Stella. Um, at my Michaels and Hobby Lobby, I can never find it. I asked the people, they don't know what it was. Um, I asked today and they knew where exactly where they were. So I bought it because I've never used it. And I hear everybody say that it's wonderful and it looks great. And apparently this is what it looks like. See that little transparent little glimmer, like glitterish, like that. Well, I found it at Michaels, $7.99 regular price, but I used the 60% off coupon from Joann's and I got it for $3.20. So I am happy the hauls that I got at I believe I think it was like two different Michaels or four no four I needed to go to two more but we ran out of time so I wanted to come on here and share my haul from Michaels with you and um, I'm happy my husband took me to crafty stores all of them trust me he was like, okay, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. So, yay. And I got to see so many new things that I don't see at my regular uh, Michaels, which is an hour away from me. Um, we came to drop off uh, my daughter here at college. And um, in San Antonio, Texas. And um, I was excited because I got to go to all these stores. But this one, this haul here is from Michaels. You can check my channel um, and see what I got at Joann's. And that 60% off coupon from Joann's worked at 
uh, works at um, Michael's. Today was the last day to use it, and boy did I use it and got great deals with it. So I wanted to come on here and share it with you. Um, let me know um, about this Distress Oxide. If somebody can give me tips on how to use it, I will be um, on YouTube trying to figure out how to use it because <laughs> I've only used the Distress Ink. I want to know the difference and um, I can't wait to use this Wink of Stella. Everybody raves so much about it and I, like I said, I couldn't find it. I finally did and a great price. So I'm excited to go home tomorrow and um, play with all my craftiness, all my crafty supplies. So thank you for stopping by my channel and viewing my haul. I apologize if I'm moving around. Um, because um, well, I am the holder right now. I'm working on my iPad and I have to hold it while I'm talking as I sit on the bed. But um, thank you for stopping by my channel. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and um, let me know your tips on using the Distress Oxide and the Wink of Stella. So until next time guys, bye, happy crafting.